Hi. So uh, let's let's now take a look at uh, the you know uh, concept of uh, the uh, wheels and uh, seats. So these uh, it's it's a kind of peculiar uh, state that we have them here uh, with. Uh, so I'll just remove go back to the original code yeah just so start from the beginning yeah so uh, what we need is like we need uh, wheels uh, to to be available in wheel base but we need four of them uh, while we want the user to be only defining it only once like when somebody is going to be you know uh, creating a car so we don't want them to you know tell us about uh, four types of uh, wheels right we want to be able to tell uh, you want them to be able to tell us only about one type of wheel and we will make four copies of it uh, because like when you're going to buy a car, they don't ask you front wheel, how do you want rear wheel, how do you want, they just ask you what kind of wheel do you want and they give you four of the same. Uh, same thing with seats as well, like we'll need a type of seat and we'll need like uh, to define them. So this is where your first uh, pattern uh, from Java would start to emerge, okay, uh, or like object oriented uh, pattern, okay, so that's the factory pattern. So what we'll do is uh, we will um, create like a wheel factory. So like inside this class itself, we can do is we can create a, technically it should be in a separate folder. In fact, let's do that. So let's uh, create like a package for uh, seats and let's create a package for uh, wheel. Uh, let's create a seat. Okay. So uh, what we'll do is we'll bring the wheel class into the wheel package. Okay. Uh, we'll bring the seat class into the seat package. Okay and uh, then uh, in wheel we will create a wheel factory okay so we will create uh, wheel factory okay so when you create a wheel factory uh, this wheel factory will so now let's say we have got wheel types okay uh, let's say we have got uh, enum class uh, type okay uh, so uh, say we have got uh, steel wheels uh, we have got um, uh, say alloy wheels and uh, say we have got um, you know carbon fiber wheels okay so you have got three kinds of wheels. So let's just carbon fiber ones are like what racing or something. Let's say it's uh, like, uh, high performance wheel. So we have got uh, steel alloy and carbon fiber wheels. So what we'll do is when we are creating a wheel, uh, we will uh, have uh, this thing here. Is uh, the wheel would have like a constructor. Uh, we'll write. Uh, um, type okay and uh, it will provide a type of uh, you know uh, wheel here and then uh, the price of the wheel can we can do the same thing based on uh, the type here uh, so we will generate the remaining branches so let's say steel wheels are uh, you know worth uh, say 10,000 uh, alloy wheels are worth uh, 12,000 and uh, carbon fiber wheels are what let's say 20,000 okay so we've got uh, like our wheels set up and then we have a wheel factory so the wheel factory what we'll do is we will create uh, you know a fun uh, uh, so wheel factory will create with a type as well uh, so we'll create like you know uh, val type equal to wheel dot type okay and then uh, we'll create fun uh, wheel that will basically generate a wheel for us and what here we'll do is uh, return a new wheel with uh, the type that we have here okay so uh, creating wheels is now um, kind of uh, easier uh, and why this factory pattern gets used uh, we will just uh, check that out as well so what we'll do uh, in our wheel base we will take a wheel factory Okay, we will uh, take a uh, val uh, wheel factory and uh, then uh, in our list of wheels, uh, what we'll do is we will uh, do wheel factory dot create wheel and uh, we can do that four times. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, we have to create a wheel factory and it creates the wheel. So we don't hard code the way we are creating a wheel uh, like this. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's how we're going to be dealing with uh, say uh, wheels. Okay. Uh, we can do something similar with seats as well. Um, what we will see here in uh, our main class now is that when we are creating a wheel uh, base, we will have to provide a wheel factory. So this eco sport, let's say I am creating this eco sport with a uh, you know, uh, wheel of uh, type uh, say uh, Uh, this is uh, a alloy wheel uh, eco sport and this honda city has got say uh, you know uh, uh, steel wheels okay so now that's also another difference that you can do so again like if i run this code you'll see that you know uh, the honda city is 7,35,000 but if i add uh, you know alloy wheels to this honda city then it would be of 7,43,000 okay so we are able to like design the kind of wheels that we want when we are uh, building our car as well okay so yeah uh, that's that's uh, the kind of use case where we have a factory pattern now with the factory pattern what people uh, oftentimes do is that uh, they also do this uh, they take uh, you know a wheel factory and they create the class here uh, so class uh, factory like this okay and uh, so instead of like putting wheel factory here we put the val wheel type here inside the factory uh, right here okay uh, so i'll see what uh, change uh, that helps us do is we'll put the you know uh, create wheel function here and we'll delete wheel factory okay so once we delete that uh, then uh, you see that uh, in the wheel class we can make the constructor private okay so when you make the constructor private, uh, you know, uh, then this wheel type cannot be created outside uh, of this wheel class. And here we can use it because a factory class is inside wheel class. So we can have uh, like the constructor, this one uh, to be, you know, uh, uh, of uh, this particular type. Uh, so, yeah, so making it private, what it uh, helps us do is uh, now creating wheels directly is actually not possible unless using the wheel factory. So, we will just change the wheelbase a little bit. We will make it, uh, you know, uh, wheel.factory. Okay. So, this would be uh, wheel.factory and we will uh, create wheels like this. Uh, this is not needed. Uh, yeah. So, uh, then in our main class, again, uh, we will create uh, wheel.factory like this. Okay, and wheel dot factory like this. And this import we can just uh, remove. Okay, so uh, if I want to directly create a wheel uh, in wheelbase uh, instead of this, if I try to do wheel like this, that uh, you will see I am not allowed to do that. Uh, okay, uh, that's because uh, you know this uh, becomes uh, private in nature. Okay, so we can't make like the initialize a wheel uh, here. So that's like the so uh, this is something that uh, you know uh, is also considered to be called the you know uh, open close uh, pattern so open close pattern says you know open for extension close for modification this is not exactly open close pattern but yeah uh, so uh, you know with uh, uh, the wheel what we are doing is that we are uh, making it not possible to directly construct a wheel because wheels always need to be constructed using a factory so that's that's an important thing that when you're creating a factory pattern you should generally do because uh, the wheel factory this create wheel function now in our entire code base becomes the only place where we can generate wheels we can't directly construct a wheel class although we can use that class perfectly well in every place okay so uh, that's that's generally like the beginning of like the factory pattern uh, you can uh, see uh, that happening okay and uh, and there are benefits to it we will uh, see that uh, very soon uh, okay um, we can do something similar with seats we can uh, make seat uh, we can have you know uh, so we can have like a enum class uh, upholstery and we can have like different kinds of upholstery for this uh, let's say we have got uh, 
cloth seats we have got uh, rexine seats and we have got leather seats okay and like our self price can then again and depend on that so our seat will have uh, right upholstery uh, so this will depend on when this dot upholstery and then we can have like uh, say uh, all of that stuff like you know uh, it was 15,000 so let's say our exine seats are 15,000 each we can have cloth seats which would be 10,000 each and then we will have say leather seats which will be uh, 20,000 each and then uh, we can have our uh, factory here as well so we will have our seat factory okay the seat factory will take the seat type here uh, so while upholstery uh, we can have this and then uh, we will have a fun uh, create seat okay uh, so uh, this will create a seat and it will basically return a seat with uh, the given upholstery right and uh, we will make seat as again a private constructor so that people cannot create seats directly so now seats are going to be added into the chassis so in chassis what we'll do again is uh, we'll uh, do something similar here in the chassis we will uh, take a seat factory uh, okay uh, so we'll do seat factory here and uh, here instead of all of these uh, four things we'll do uh, seat factory dot create seat and uh, like writing a line four times is not a good thing but uh, i'll show you a better pattern for creating these seats as well here okay uh, so um yeah uh, uh what do we have i think uh, we can uh, right now here like right uh, wheel base and uh, so yeah that's done so then we'll go to the uh, main class again and then we'll have to provide a seat factory here so chassis needs a chassis type sedan and it needs uh, like a, a, a wheel factory seat factory so uh, i'll provide like a seat dot uh, factory uh, seat dot upholstery dot let's say this one has got leather seats and the eco sport has got say rexine seats uh, okay so Again, like we can uh, start seeing that, you know, depending on the type of seat that we have, like if I use cloth seats instead, then my EcoSport cost can go down a bit, like 66 lakh 13,000 instead. And uh, like, uh, you know, if we use like uh, Rexine seats, then it's like a little bit higher, it's 6 lakh 33,000. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we can uh, change like how much our cost of seats and all everything is also there. So that also starts becoming modifiable because we are using a factory for the seats and for the wheels. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's see. Uh, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, 